Hey, this is Erin with the Homework Lounge, and today we are doing a video on demand about ballpark figures, ballpark estimation. Your book might call it something else, but I know in everyday math it's called ballpark estimation. Um, ballpark estimation is something that is supposed to make your life easier because it's going to help you figure out about what your answer is before you actually do the problem. So it's not really supposed to be giving you more work. It's actually a way for you to check your work and make sure that you're doing the problem correctly the first part, the first time. So the thing to remember more than anything else with ballpark estimation is that the number that you're rounding to, or it's all about rounding, the number that you're rounding to, if it's five or more, five, see how five has a thumb? five, you go up. So 75, if it's a five or six or seven, eight or nine, you round up. And 75 is going to, five is going to tell us what to do. 76, the six is going to tell us what to do. In 66 and 48, 66, we care about the six, and 48, we care about the eight. 84, we care about the 4, 38, we care about the 8, 98, we care about the 8, and 71, we care about the 1. The reason we care about these numbers is because they're going to tell us either to round up, when you see a thumb, like the number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, do you see that thumb right there? The thumb reminds you to round up. If you see a 4, 3, 2, or 1, you stay. So let's look at 75. 75 is between two numbers. 75 is between 80 and 70. Those are the two numbers that we're going to choose from. 75, see the thumb, tells us to go up to 80. 76, see the thumb? 76 still tells us to go up to 80 because 76 is going to round up, so up to 80. And then we do uh, 0, or 80 plus 80 is 160, and when we do 75 plus 76, it needs to be really close to 160, and that's our ballpark estimation. That means our, if our answer is pretty close to 160, we can know that we got it right. If we get something that's completely off, like 20 or 30 or 40 numbers off, then we know we didn't get it right. If you get the answer of 140, mm, that's not really close enough. So chances are it's not right, and then you know to do it again. So it's really not supposed to be that your teachers or your textbook or anybody is making you do more work. They want you to get it right. Okay, let's see. 166. Hmm, 66 is between two numbers. It's between 60 and 70, and because we're at 6, remember, see the thumb and the 5? You go up. So 66 is between 70 and 60. We go up to 70. Same with 48. Yep, 48, there's the thumb. It tells us to go up. See the up? Up. So 48 is going to either go to 40. No, it's going to go up to 50. We add those up. Okay, so... 120, which means 66 plus 48 needs to be really close to 120 in order for us to know that we got it right. So let me just erase these and then we'll try it out. Let's see if it worked. Okay, so 5 plus 6 is 11. 7 plus 7, because that's easier to do first. 7 plus 7, 14. One more, 15. Yeah, actually 151 is really close to 160. I think we got it right. We don't have to try it again. How about 66 plus 48? Sorry, I had a phone call. 14, uh, 114 is very close to 120. Yep, that's true. I would say we got that right because those are close enough. Okay, so 84, we care about the Four, and we're either going to go from 80 or up to 90. Let's see. 80 is between 80 and 90. 4 does not tell us to go up, so we would not go up to 90. We stay at 80. See how that stays? The 8 just stayed. Stay at 80. And this kind of looks like a 0 to me, so you just stay. 38. 
there it is. There's that 8. 38 goes up to 40. So 80 plus 40 is 120, which means 84 plus 38 has to be really, really, really close to 120. Let's see. 4 plus 8 is 12. 8 plus 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my gosh, yeah, 122 is really close to 120. So good for us. We got it. Check. We are correct. 98. Now, remember, the 8 is going to tell you, or the 8, however you want to do it, to round up. 98 is between two numbers. 98 is between 90 and 100. The 8 tells us to round up. So yeah, 98 rounds up to 100. And any time that you have something, you just know that 8 rounds up, so we round up to 100. 71, the 1 tells you to stay. Stay at 70. Don't round up. Stay at 70. So 70. 100 plus 70 is 170, which means 98. Uh, 8 plus 1 is 9, and 169. Yeah, 169 is really, really close to 170, so I can say with some certainty that I got it right. All right. This will work the same for subtraction. Only, whoops, you scrolled too much. Instead of adding the numbers up after we do our rounding, we are going to subtract them. That's it. So let's try 56. 56, up or down? You got it. So we care about the 6. 85, we care about the 5. 22, we care about the 2. 95, we care about the 5. 34, we care about the 4. 82, we care about the 2. And 64, we care about the 4. Great. Now we can do them. Now that we know what number we're going to focus on to do our rounding, we know what to do. So 56. That six, sure thing, there's the thumb, round up. 56 goes to 60, correct. And 46, let's see, 46. 46, there's the thumb again, so up to 50. And 60 minus 50 is 10. So 56 minus 46 better be really close to 10. Let's try it. Six minus six is zero, five minus four is what? Whoa, excellent estimation, actually. It was the same number. Cool. So 85, 5 goes to, to 90. 22, 2 still steps to stay. Stay at 20. So 90 minus 20 is 70. And let's see if it works. 5 minus 2 is 3. And 8 minus 2 is 6. Yep, 63 is close to 70. We're good. Let's move on. 95. Oh, remember, remember what we said. 95 is between 90 and 100. And 5 tells us to go up. So 95 also rounds up to 100. And 34, 4 tells us to stay. Stay at 30. So 100 minus 30 is 70. 5 minus 4 is 1. And 9 minus 3 is 6. Yeah. Pretty close. I think we're good. And let's look at the last one. So 82. 2 tells us to stay. We stay at 80. 64. 4 also tells us to stay. We stay at 60. So 0, uh, 8 minus 2 is 20. 80 minus 60 is 20. Let's see. Okay, so now we need to do some regrouping or borrowing or whatever you call it. So we do, there's the 12, and 8 becomes 7. Okay, let's just say now, pretend you're getting tired. In 12 minus 4, you do 8, and then you kind of forget what you're doing, and you do go 7, and you go 12. Oh, wait a second. 20 was our ballpark, but our answer was 128. That doesn't work, because our answer is supposed to be really close to our ballpark. And if it's not, then we did something wrong. So let's try it again. Oh, 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, that makes sense because 18 is really close to 20. But it, to, uh, 120, it was not close. Anyway, these are here for you to try. So you can pause this. You have four problems, two additions, two subtractions to try on your own and see what you can do. So 
Good luck. I want you to practice. So try these out. Do the ballpark estimation. Remember, five or more goes up. Four and below, stay. Take care.